2022 looks to be a promising year for games on Roblox so far. I mean, we've got tons of games set to release this year, but the question remains, which ones are even worth your guys' time? Which ones should you guys be looking out for? Yo, what's up guys? My name is Winter Clouds, and in today's video, we're gonna be doing my top 10 upcoming Roblox games that you guys should look out for. Let's get straight into it. Coming in top 10, we have Anime Force. Now this game is going to be a free release. We have no release date confirmed as of right now, but this game is honestly really fire. As you guys may be able to tell, it's heavily inspired by the hit game Jump Force, um, basically where you have multiple different anime characters going at it in a battle style of arena, similar to ABA, except I do believe this game superior to ABA. I know some people disagree with that, but there's certain intricacies in this game that are better than ABA, such as the combat mechanics. There are more mechanics than the typical ABA type of combat. You have grabs and stuff like that in this game, as well as the character range and visuals make up for it a lot. I do think this game is very good as I got a chance to personally test this game when it was open for testing phase. And honestly, I really did enjoy it. Not a perfect game. However, they definitely do need to fix some things and balance some things out. Overall though, I think when this does get released, it'll be a very fun game that's slightly different than the typical anime battle arena type of game. I mean, just look at these visuals. They're beautiful. Combat's felt smooth and everything. And you know, the transformations and awakenings are nice as well. So yeah, there's top 10 for you guys. Anime Force, let me know what y'all thought about that one. And let's get straight into number nine. Coming in at number nine, we have Scarlet Moon. Now this game's set to release 2022, obviously this year, very soon actually. And if you're a sucker for hardcore games, similar to like Dark Souls or Elden rings this game is going to be right up your alley i got a chance to test this game out around two weeks ago and i'm not going to lie i was delightfully surprised with how well this is built from the combat system to how difficult it is this game is going to be a game you're going to need to play with friends which means it's going to be similar to like a couch party game obviously you know it's not co-op but this is going to be a game you're going to want to play with friends in groups of three because if you don't you're gonna have a very difficult time. I tried playing this game solo and it did not end well. I died and died and died again. You're gonna need to play this game with friends. But yeah, it's similar to Dark Souls in the sense where it has like the dust level up system. There's multiple different classes, tons of different bosses and stuff you can do in the game. Overall, I do think this game is very fun. However, there's one downside to the game. It is going to be 800 Robux. Yes, that is a lot of Robux. And so I know a lot of people will not be able to buy this game or won't even want to buy the game. But nevertheless, it made this list because of how well it was built. It's made by Snake. Snake World, the one that made Final Stand. He's known to make games that are really well built. Visually, this game might not be the best, but the combat, the story, the progression, everything was simply amazing. I can't recommend this game enough. Once it drops, if you guys have the Robux, definitely give this one a try. However, prepare to rage because it is that difficult. Uh, I never thought I'd be putting this game on a top 10 list. Coming at number eight, we have Eternal Seas. Now, I cannot even lie to you. I can't sit up here and lie to you. I was surprised that I even considered this game for this list because think about it. Looking at this game, it looks like a straight up Blocks Fruits copy when you look at it. And I, going into this, I was thinking Eternal Seas was going to be trash. I'm not going to lie. Like when the combat test got leaked, I was thinking it was going to be straight up garbage, but I can't lie to you. After trying out the combat, I was genuinely surprised. Now, it's nothing revolutionary. It's nothing crazy, but it is solid. It was fluent and ones were nice. It felt smooth and I have hope for this game because of that afterwards. Now, it made top eight on this list. I couldn't really put it any higher because I still don't know much about the progression, the actual world, if it even feels like a one piece game, because look at the state of GPO right now. GPO doesn't feel like a one piece game. There's not really any adventures, not really any reason to go, you know, naval exploring and whatnot. But the combat was enough to put this game on my radar for a game I'm looking forward to. Maui has shown time and time again that he does care about this game as he's delayed the release plenty of times. I know people are upset about the, you know, the delayed releases, but it shows he's trying to get the game where it needs to be. So those two elements right there, you know, both the good combat and the fact that Maui is, you know, trying to get the game what it needs, you know, not trying to rush it, shows me that this game could be a potential game to look forward into the future, which is why I put it on this list. Like I can't even lie to you. After testing out the combat for myself firsthand, it felt all right. Like it, it, it felt nice. So yeah, that's why I put it top eight. Hopefully y'all can understand why I put it where I put it. I do think this game has some potential. Jumping straight into number seven, we have Grand Kaizen. 
Now, Grand Kaizen made it to this list for multiple different reasons. The game is still fairly early in development, but it is still set to release in 2022, I believe. And I'm not going to lie, this game is pretty well built. One thing you will notice is how close the visuals look to the hit Grand Piece Online and also the name similarity, Grand Kaizen. This is the only Jujutsu Kaisen game I've ever seen any sort of promise from on the Roblox platform. Every single other Jujutsu Kaisen game I've seen on the Roblox platform actually it's kind of bad, I'm not going to lie. This one is very good. I've personally played it multiple different times. I have tested for it, and the game has been getting steady updates. Everything from the visuals, the combat looks nice, the accuracies for the um, cursed abilities and you know stuff like that, they all look nice. And I'm not going to lie, this game is one that I'm genuinely looking forward to, and I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to this as well. The progression is a mixture of both bandit beating and chores, so it doesn't feel that bad. You'll never really know what you're going to do as it'll mix in both the chores and the bandit beating type of quests. Overall, this game is a really well put together game that I'm actually looking forward to. It's the only Jujutsu Kaisen game I've ever liked on the Roblox platform. So yeah, I obviously hold the game to quite a high standard. I personally know and am friends with one of the main devs of this game, and I can say that they are working very hard. So I do have high hopes for this game. Obviously, anything can happen, you know, from now versus when the game gets released. But as of right now, the game is in good standing, good health. So definitely a game you guys should be looking forward to, Grand Kaiser. Going straight into number six, we have Hunter x Hunter Tales. Now, there actually isn't much available information on this game at the moment. Um, I do have the owner's Twitter if you guys want to check out any sneaks he's posted right here. I actually found out about this game from that. Um, I posted a tweet saying, you know, I pray we get a good Hunter x Hunter game on Roblox soon. And he replied, you know, by letting me know that he was developing a Hunter x Hunter Roblox game called Hunter Tales. Now, this game, despite the fact that I don't know much about it, it is set to release soon. And looking at the combat, you guys can see the combat actually looks crazy. Combo system and everything, it looks pretty wild, especially for a Hunter x Hunter game. I'm really excited to see where they go with this because just based off of the combat alone and some of the other sneaks I've seen, some pictures and stuff like that, the game looks like it's gonna be really promising. Now again, we haven't really seen much as far as the game goes. Um, progression, they have been kind of keeping progression a little bit secretive, I guess. There is a few clips floating around for combat, you know, the world and whatnot, basically what I'm showing you guys right now. But all we know is the game is set to release soon. This is one that I'm really actually looking forward to as I don't think we've ever in the history of Roblox had a good Hunter x Hunter game be successful on the platform. If there's anyone that's going to do it, though, I believe this one has the most potential out of anyone we've received so far to actually do numbers on the Roblox platform. So yeah, guys, Hunter x Hunter Tales, number six on this list. I think it's well deserving of that spot. Let's move on to the next one, top five. All right, boys, number five on this list, we have Bushido. Now, I have been keeping up with this game for quite a bit, for around more than six months or so. This is a samurai RPG based game. We don't really have too much information. I do know it's set to release this year, 2022, and there's not really much I can say other than by the visuals, the combat, and everything about this game, it just left me speechless. I mean, just look at how fluent this combat is, how smooth the combat looks. There's multiple different classes in this game that you can play, but this is based around, you know, samurai and uh, stuff like that. You know, shinobis, ninjas, you guys get the gist. Bushido is definitely a fire looking game, and you can tell just how much effort they're putting into this. I'm pretty sure this is gonna go more down the MMORPG style. That just seems like the type of game it's trying to go for. I also don't know if this is gonna be free to play or paid access when it comes out. I wouldn't be surprised if it did turn out to be a paid access game, just looking at the quality of how it looks and everything. But yeah, this game is one I'm definitely really excited for. I mean, it's just stunningly beautiful. It's just a stunningly beautiful game. It's hard to even believe that this is even on Roblox. So yeah, that's top five, boys. We are getting closer and closer to the end of this list, and every single one at this point are games that I'm genuinely excited for. Coming in at the top four, boys, we have Project Slayers. Now, Project Slayers is an upcoming Demon Slayer game. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this game, as it is not new news by any means, but it hasn't released yet. It is set to release later on this year, I'm pretty sure. Um, the development is going pretty far with it. The next wave will be opening soon from what I've heard. 
I'm not gonna lie, this is the best Roblox Demon Slayer game I've played on the Roblox platform. You guys can obviously see visuals look like GPO, similar to Grand Kaizen. It's built in a really good way. The combat is fire, very smooth, and I love the abilities. One thing I really do appreciate this in this game is how good the demons are as well. I find that in most Roblox Demon Slayer games, demons tend to be pretty weak or lackluster. In this game, demons are actually crazy. Demons go crazy. Overall, I think this game was a very fun play. I've been keeping up with this ever since like last year. I have tester for it. Can't wait till the game gets some new content and new news to it. I know a lot of you guys are also keeping up with um, Project Slayers and know about it. So, you know, seeing on this list shouldn't be no surprise to you guys. But yeah, number four, well deserved to Project Slayers. By the way, I also just want to mention that this list is just completely based off of, you know, the games that I'm looking forward to. If you guys' you know, list or game you guys want to see didn't place where you want it to, try to understand that it's just off of my opinion. Also, top five and under is, you know, kind of unordered. They're not really ordered. But yeah, let's get into top three, though, boys. Coming in the top three, we have 1C. Now, some of you might be shocked to see this game be on the top three. I may be a little biased with this because this is probably my favorite new One Piece Roblox game that I've been dropping recently. This game is upcoming and it is going through a complete revamp. I'm friends with the owner of the game, the new owner of the game. He is a great dev and I, I do have hope that he's going to give the game the justice it deserves. But out of all the One Piece games that have been releasing recently or upcoming recently, this one's different. It's not a bandit beater. It follows a different standard of storytelling, you know, different type of progression. And honestly, I really do like it. It's unique in its own way compared to the different One Piece Roblox games. And it's not scared to try something different. The game is going through a complete, re complete revamp, like I said. And some of the sneaks, as you guys can see up on the screen right here, they've even started building fruits. The game is in very early stages. So this one might not even release in 2022. So it may technically be cheating based on the, this list. But you know what I'm saying? Let your boy slide with it. Let your boy slide with it. This is one game that I'm really looking forward to as far as One Piece. I'm going to leave this link in the description as well if you guys are looking forward to this. There's tons of sneaks in the Discord that you guys can keep up with if you guys are interested in 1C as well. Coming in top two, we have Anime Legends. Now, how could I have a top 10 list without Anime Legends? This game, ever since the trailer came out last year, has been nothing but hype. I mean, look at the trailer. It's literally got a million plus views. This is the game everyone is looking forward to. And the only reason it didn't get top one is just because of the simple fact that ever since that trailer dropped, we haven't gotten anything. No sneaks, no extra information on the game, nothing. But, I mean, just look at the game. You can't say that this game doesn't look beautiful and amazing. It's multiple different animes put together in an MMO fashion, like a true MMO fashion, and it just looks amazing. Like, my mind can't even wrap around the fact that this is Roblox right here. Because it doesn't look like Roblox. The buildings, the actual world, the effects and everything, it looks crazy. And all of your favorite animes are going to be intertwined into one game with this game. It's hard to believe that this is even Roblox. Like, I, I don't know how many times I can say that. But no matter how much I think about it, like, Anime Legends, is, it, just, it just has so much hype, so much built up around it. And I'm really just ecstatic to see where this goes. I mean, I know you guys are all excited for this as well. That's why I got top two. The only reason it didn't get top one is just because ever since this trailer, we, we've been in the dark. We haven't seen or heard anything. But that's top two, boys. Anime Legends. Last but not least, we have number one coming in with Emblem Tales. Now, Emblem Tales, Delay Tales, whatever you want to call it. Emblem Tales is an open world, true MMORPG Roblox game. This is another one that's really blown my mind with how good it looks, how it feels. It really doesn't feel like a Roblox game. Now, this one is set to be releasing very soon. We should be seeing it within the next couple months. I know a lot of people are upset how it's been getting delayed left and right, but please try to understand that the devs really just want the game to be released the right way, which you can't really complain about. I mean, think about it. Would you rather have a rushed game, you know, imperfected, you know, and stuff like that? Or would you rather have a game that took a little bit longer, but they smoothed out a lot of the bugs and issues you would have faced? Now, I did get a chance to you know, get tester and play a PvP leak of the game. And I gotta say, it is well put together. All the classes feel nice. There is some imbalance that needs to be balanced out and some things that need to be changed. They're already aware of that. A lot of us testers informed them of the issues we had during testing so they could, you know, smoothen them out. And I'm happy to report since then, they fixed most of the issues that, you know, I've, I personally and me and my friends had an issue with. 
This game's future is really bright, I'm not gonna lie, especially since it's got a whole dev team that really genuinely cares about the game and doesn't wanna rush and just get money. They think about this more than just money. They actually care about the game. So yeah, boys, that is my top 10 list. This video took me so long to edit, so I would appreciate it if you dropped your boy a like and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Join the clouds, gang. Hope y'all are all doing well. Let me know what you guys thought about my list. And again, keep in mind, this is just based off of my opinion, the games I'm looking forward to upcoming my top 10 list. Let me know down in the comments any games you guys thought I missed or should pay attention to. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one, boys. Peace.